Tony Glover's day job is to counsel clients at the employment office. We do a lot of training here. Right away, you know three things about him. One, he's a big man. Two, with a big laugh. How are you? <laughs> and three, he has a big voice. To dream the impossible dream. You can regularly find him on a Houston stage or in the choir at Brentwood Baptist Church or singing with Deborah Duncan. Walking in the winter wonderland. But at 42, he's keeping a dream alive. To be on Broadway. When that time comes, it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. Happy birthday, Nashe. He has a wonderful voice, an awesome voice. I didn't know he was able to sing like that. <laughs> the vocal teacher who taught Glover at Houston's Performing Arts High School back in the 80s remembers his voice well. Uh, his voice is, it's a rarity. Uh, number one, in the vocal department, we are thrilled when we can get a student between the age of 15 and 18 who is a true bass. Glover's father instilled in him a great love of baseball, but his love of singing was encouraged by his older brother Kenneth, a musician who always supported his little brother. Kenneth died of cancer in 2001. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think of him. To love, you're in chase from afar. Glover says his songs are a tribute to his brother as he keeps following his dream. When you don't follow your passion, you die. And as long as you have a passion and a dream and a desire, you need to go for it. I feel quite confident he will make it happen. And that's my dream, the impossible dream. So one day, the impossible will become possible. This is my quest to follow that star.